So here's an interesting limit. It's different from the others. We don't have a single rational expression here. If we were to try to substitute x equals 0, you would get 2 over 0, which is undefined, minus the 6 over 0 on the right, which is also undefined. Many times students will tell me that this means infinity minus infinity. I'm not sure about that, but even if it were, what does that even mean? Is infinity minus infinity supposed to be zero? What if one infinity is bigger than the other infinity? Infinity is not even a real number. That's just a symbol that we use to tell each other things. We have no idea what this limit is. We have no idea how to treat it. So in my opinion, the only real thing to do here is to do algebra to this crazy expression and to turn it into something that we actually know some math that we can do to it. So what I'm going to do is actually just combine these two fractions and some cool things are going to happen when I do. So to subtract those fractions, I need a common denominator. And so x squared plus 3x is equal to x times x plus 3. So that will actually be the common denominator. So notice how I've taken the 2 over x and I've multiplied by x plus 3 over x plus 3. Next, I'm actually going to combine the fractions. So I have the numerator subtracted here, 2 times x plus 3 minus 6, and then I have the denominator on the bottom. Next, I'm going to do the obvious algebra to the numerator, right? You distribute the 2, you get 2x plus 6, and then you subtract the 6. So now I've actually combined the crazy initial expression into this much simpler single rational expression. And what's even better is that there is a factor in common on top and bottom. And so we get to use our cancellation property. So this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of 2 over x plus 3. And I get to use my direct substitution property on that limit. 